you're looking for a drone under 500 pounds, want the best specifications and flying experience, but are overwhelmed by the marketing hype, well, I've chosen five of the best out there and I'm gonna break them all down for you right now. And I'm gonna announce the all out winner at the end. And I think you're gonna be surprised at the result. So let's get into it. First out is the DJI Mini 2 SE at 322 pounds. The camera is a 12 megapixel and the lens aperture is f2.8 and it does JPEG and RAW. The video capability is a 2.7K at 30 frames a second. The zoom is a four times digital zoom only in full HD. It doesn't really have any obstacle avoidance, just downward sensors and the flight time is 31 minutes. It has a return to home. The stabilization is a three axis gimbal with your tilt, your roll, and your pan. The main limitation on this for me would really be not having the any obstacle avoidance. Next up, we've got the DJI Mini 2. So a little jump in price there. And we have the 12 megapixel sensors and it's the F2.8 and it does JPEG and RAW. And the video capability is now a 4K and does 30 frames a second. At the same digital zoom of four times, still no obstacle avoidance, just the downward sensors with a 30 minute flight time. And it does have the return to home. For tracking, it does have the quick shots. So it will do these, what they call the droney, the helix, the rocket and the circle and a boomerang and panoramic shots. And you can set those in automatically and it will just do that. And it has the three axis gimbal again, still no um, obstacle avoidance on it. The superpowers I'd say is definitely having those quick shots. It's a really nice feature. Next up is the DJI Mini 3, which is 476 pounds. That has a 48 megapixel camera, f2.8 aperture, and it's JPEG and RAW, 4K at 30 frames a second again, and still has this four times digital zoom just in the full HD, only has the downward sensors for the obstacle avoidance. But the flight time now is 38 minutes, does have the return to home, and for tracking, it does have the quick shots, it does have the three axis gimbal. And uh, for me, really, it's a great drone and a really good option to consider, but it doesn't have any obstacle avoidance. So that's just something to consider. One of its superpowers is it does have um, the gimbal that turns into vertical shooting mode. So great for social content, for your TikToks, etc. And uh, the battery lasts longer and it does do the quick shots. The last two are by Femi and uh, there's the Femi X8 Mini which comes in at £389. Now the camera's just JPEG but it's 12 megapixel and the video capabilities are FK at 30 frames a second and it does have an F2 aperture lens on it and it does have this F log for color profiling so it's a bit more of a flat color profile if you choose to use that which is great for editing and the zoom is six times digital zoom still no obstacle avoidance and a flight time is quite reasonable at 37 minutes and it does have the return to home and for tracking it does have the smart object tracking and does do the panoramic shots vertical shots and has the three axis gimbal again but it, uh, still no obstacle avoidance for its superpowers um, it's lovely that it now does have this super tracking it does have this zoom function and it's got a really good battery on it and you can extend the battery life if you buy these different batteries next up we've got the femi again and it's the x8 mini pro at 475 now the camera's a 48 megapixel now and will also do a raw image and it's 4k but the lens is a 1.7 aperture and it's got the six times a digital zoom and it does have obstacle avoidance with three-way dual cameras front rear and uh, down and the flight time is 40 minutes or the extended battery is 47 does have the return to home and it does have smart tracking and it does panoramic um, photography as well and it's got the three axis gimbal its limitations is it doesn't have the 60 frames a second on it for the video for its superpowers 
They say it's rainproof, snowproof. It does have compatible with remote ID following near airports and restricted areas. It accepts a SIM card and it has this uh, accessory port where you can have a drop system where it'll carry up to 350 grams. It can have a megaphone and it all attaches into this accessory port, which is quite interesting. Well, there's some great drones there, but on balance, I think it's definitely between two, which is the Femi X8 Mini Pro and the DJI Mini 3. And the advantage of the DJI, it's a really renowned company with a great care package. This drone can do vertical shooting, great battery life, and these quick shots are really very cool. But the Femi has three-way obstacle avoidance, a really long battery life, it's got the six times digital zoom and an f 1.7 aperture lens and the ability to scare neighbors with your megaphone. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> what more could you want? And I think this is really a drone that can take on the Mini 3 Pro and it's kind of almost half the price. I uh, don't know what the build quality is like because I haven't got one here but I would really consider one of these drones and I'm gonna contact them and see if we can test one. But I would say you can't go wrong that sort of price. And to have the obstacle avoidance, I think is one of the key things here that makes that drone particularly stand out. If you're new to drones, I'll briefly explain. If your drone weighs less than 250 grams, you don't need to take any exams and you can fly in parks and built up areas and over uninvolved people, excluding crowds. Well, I hope you found that really useful. It's gonna help you make your decision. There are affiliate partner links in the description below. And if you want to learn more about drones, check out the playlist over here and show me the love subscribe to the channel here and I will see you over there.